everybody back. Welcome back to the channel. It is the 2nd of January. Happy, happy new year. Another what sold video over on eBay. We got four items. Plus, uh, we're going to be halfway and talk about a return issue that we have going on right now. I don't know what you guys think. Should we return this item? Should we not? We'll do two of the what solds and then we will look at that return. And we'll finish up with two more bangers of sales. Or were they? Who knows? We'll be back. All right, guys. Welcome back. Like we said, we have four sales. We're going to go through two of them. Talk about that return issue that's going on. And then get to the other two. The first item we sold was this Iron on Gothic. That's what we sold it as. Uh, white and black rose. Uh, this thing sold for $1.25. Profit-wise, we're going to make $1.33 off of it with, you know, shipping overage, stuff like that. So, profit of $1.33 on this little guy, and that's going to California. And the buyer said thank you, so thank you as well, buyer. You are our first sale of 2024. Yeah. You got to remember, that came in one of those $15 mystery boxes, so we have literally pennies into that. Pennies into that. Pennies again, guys. Another book sold. This is the Diary of an Old Soul. Um, I almost kept it just to read it. Because it is literally a diary entry from every day of the year in this book. Um, this sold for $4.85 plus media mail shipping, which is $3.92 for one pound. This only weighs eight ounces, but you have to buy a pound sticker. So um, we'd made three dollars and twenty-seven cents off of this after fees and everything. But again, we have like I don't know eight cents into this thing. So great sale for that one. I don't remember where that one's going, but thank you to the buyer and uh, you're number two for the year. So um, getting to our return. We sell a lot of items here. We sell a lot of new items. We sell a lot of used items. We sell a lot of broken stuff. But if it is broken, damaged, discolored, we will tell you in the listing. This listing right here clearly says that it is an open, common soda with a sealed, sealed, right here, bag. That means I have no clue what's in the bag. I'm not going to open the bag because it's sealed. This buyer purchased this item wants to return it now because it's damaged it's flawed they sent me pictures and quite frankly the pictures to me do not look like a piece that just came out of a bag it looks like something that's been sitting on someone's shelf might have smoke damage to it a little bit and uh i don't know if i should return it i have a feeling ebay is going to make me return it um, it only sold for $2.55 plus shipping. Um, I think the buyer was in right at $9 total for a common peat soda, as you see right here. Um, should, do you think I should return it? It clearly says sealed bag. I reached out to the buyer and I said, listen, I have no control of what's in that bag. Um, their response was, can I return it? I have not responded back yet. My next response is going to be probably no, because if it was a chase, would you have sent the chase back? Probably not. You would have you would have held on to that thirty dollar chase for your nine dollar investment and never never told me. Honestly, I think it's a scam to get a clean one. There's just a little dirty. That's just me. Down in the comments down below, let me know what you think. Should I return the item? Should I be that standing up guy? in 2024 and return someone stuff that they want to return because it doesn't suit them now or should I stick to my laurels say hey you bought it as is so sorry if eBay makes me pay pay the person back and receive the item back I clearly know I'm not getting the item that I sent so why should I return it that's my little take on it so let me know down below if you're a reseller let me know would you take it back? Would you say no? Would you say, hey, keep it. Here's your nine bucks. Done. I don't really want to do that either because then the buyer is winning. The buyer is going to do to other folks. I hope that's not the case. 
To me, the pictures look like, again, it's been sitting on someone's shelf. They want a clean one. They're switching it out. So, it may not be, but my thoughts on the subject. So, let's get back. We got two more sales, guys. We are... Mm, let's go. Next item. Um, this was an old plastic piece we bought on eBay, actually. We bought a huge box of, like, little figurines... Uh, plastic figurines from 50s, 60s, 70s era. Um, I don't exactly know the era on this one, but it's a little Indian boy. Um, it's a hollow plastic two-piece. As you can see, there's a seam right down the middle here. He goes together. This beautiful headdress. He's got some wear and tear on there. All of that was pictured in the pictures. This sold for $3.50. We had it on 65% off, and somebody grabbed it up, which, awesome for them. Awesome for them. Um... I think when we bought it last summer, we bought the whole box for like eight bucks. So, uh, profit four dollars and nineteen cents on this little Indian, and he is going to California. So, I do remember that. So, one more sale, biggest sale, the biggest sale of the night, in regards to value, uh, coolness, my opinion as well, and actually profit. Um, you all know last summer we bought that huge NASCAR lot. We are filtering through that slowly but surely. Um, and we did sell this right here. This is the 124th scale 1933 Ford High Boy Coupe. This is the gold McDonald's car. Very cool. Very cool car. Uh, this one sold for $15. Um, <clears throat> and, and I, I screwed up. Had free shipping. Free shipping. Two, uh, two pound ship. So... Yeah, uh, cost about eight bucks to ship it. Of course, it's not going, you know, down the street. It's going across the country. Um, I believe New York is where it's going. Uh, so sold for fifteen dollars. Profit was four dollars and ninety-two cents. We thank you for your purchase. I screwed up, but still made almost five bucks on this. Um, you remember that that NASCAR buy? There was over two hundred pieces in there. We didn't pay that much for it. Right at two hundred. Uh, so we got about a buck into it. We're still in the profit, which is what's important here. Um, and, you know, so. Those are our four sales for the day. Profit of $13.71. May not seem a bunch to a lot of you folks out there who are full-timers. But again, we're not full-timers. We are part-timers. We're part, part, part-timers. If that even is a thing. So uh, we don't sell every day. We try to, but we don't. It is what it is. So, guys, uh, if you like this kind of content, make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. And again, in the comments below, let us know. Should we do the return and, and request the piece back so we can do a follow-up video on the condition that it comes back in? Should we just say, hey, here's your money, keep the piece? Or should we say, no, it's yours. You purchased it. You purchased a sealed package that we had no control of what was in the package. Let us know in the comments below. As always, be as a human being, do one good thing for everybody, and we'll see you later. Bye.